What is going on, guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome. Hope everyone's having a great day. Want to let you guys know, you saw it on the thumbnail, we are taking pre-orders on the 110 scale 240Z Datsun from Kyosho. So let's go ahead and hop right over. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description below for you guys if you do want to pre-order one, support us at OMGRC.com. I'm going to go ahead and click on the pre-order tab at the top. And speaking of pre-orders, we don't know exactly when these are going to be showing up, but stay tuned and I'll update e even just the YouTube video itself um, down in the comments. I'll put it there if I know when this car is coming out exactly. But it always changes a little bit, so I hate to put those dates, times, and have high expectations and then it doesn't show up. So as of right now, I just don't have a, a set date. But hopefully it'll be here soon. That's what Kyosha is trying to work on is to, you know, when these pop up for people to uh, pre-order, this should be right around the corner that these things are going to be in stock. So let's fingers crossed here that that happens. But um, yeah, we don't want to be waiting six months from now on this car. So, all right. So yes, it is a 110 scale. It is all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. It is the Phaser MK2. It's the 1971 Datsun 240Z. It's white and it's ready to run. Again, the ready to run is, it's almost an almost ready to run. You're going to need a battery. You're going to need a charger. You're going to need four double A's for this radio and then as far as the rate um the, the battery goes like a 2s lipo that'd be your max running a 3s lipo you're going to burn up the motor uh, or shorten its life pretty much going to burn it up so it is maxed out on 2s lipo based on the uh, power plant that's in there as of right now but yeah this thing uh, i did want to let you guys know too that the leds are not included if you see some pictures here but speaking of the pictures, this thing looks really good. I know Team Associated had one, and then I was waiting for the 240 to come out Z from Kyosho because, you know, Kyosho cars, their bodies look really good. So I know there's some comments. Yeah, we're still with the, the old uh, body post. And that's just it as of right now. Hopefully, Kyosho will, you know, the more you guys complain about these body posts, hopefully they'll come up with some little system to make that all kind of work, even if they were just magnets or something. I don't know. And then you have the option of using the body post. But th there you go as of right now. So we're going to take a look at this chassis also. It is a little bit blurry, but if you head over to our website, well, it's going to still look a little bit blurry. This is the way it is here with these pictures and the way the website kind of works. But we can kind of see it is a brushed motor. We've got our electronic speed controller here. we got our receiver sitting sideways. And then we got our servo here and our off and on switch. I know it's a little bit hard to see. It is a Dean connection. Got a little Velcro to hold down our battery or tongue, whatever they call it, hook and loop. Um, yeah, we can see as far as the tires go. As far as the tread on there is like those old school type kind of fits the theme and the rims as well. I think the rims are the same rims that were on the Skyline, if I'm not mistaken. But um, it looks like a good looking car. It is that white. The other one from Team Associate was orange, which both of them kind of still doesn't really matter. You guys let me know what color... Would you like to see this car if you straight out of the box? What color would be cool for this car besides just the white? Should they have done a different color? I think it kind of pops a little bit here and there with the white on with the fenders. It kind of leaves things to kind of stand out a little bit. We have like the uh, the little wing on the back. We have the, the fenders that are flared out that are, you know, black there. So things kind of pop out. Our little uh, mirrors, our side mirrors, things like that. And then here we go as far as when it comes to... Yeah, you can see the LEDs in there. So that thing looks really good. I would probably opt for like kind of the yellowish looking light just because it is an old body. So that would have been kind of cool if they would have did something. But they want to show like that new school as well with the LEDs. But yeah, even this kind of those yellow looking lights kind of fit the part. So that'd be cool. They did some really cool pictures here. But yeah, we got back lights as well. And then we got the dots. And, you know, I know in the U.S. we call it dots. But I know they have a different name how they say it. Forgive us, okay? So and then you got the license plate. We got the Kyosho as far as the 240Z. That looks cool. Um, so I like it. It's a it's a good looking car anyways, no matter what. I like these cars. Uh, yeah. And they, they did some really good pictures, Photoshop, you know, whatever, however you want to flip it. But I think it looks really good as far as the car goes. It's got a nice stance to it. It's, it's good. Just like that. The, the um what was that the skyline the 2000 gtr that was a good looking car too man i still like to have one of those not like that the real deal but uh yeah, yeah at least for now we're going to do scale model of it but 
yeah, we got front rear suspension. And again, that you can always upgrade these cars too. There's, a lot of, there's groups out there on Facebook and where else that got these things to move pretty good. I've gotten them up to about 60, 61 miles an hour. That was it for like a 4,000 kV motor. So you're kind of looking to see what you can get out of it. And that was just on the bone stock uh, spur gear, which is a 32. I don't know what the, the actual, uh, I'm sorry, pinion gear. The pinion gear is a 32. I don't know what the spur gear is. You guys can let me know in regards to that one. Now, I will, speaking of gears, I don't re recall, and maybe you guys can chime in on this one. I've just worked on one. I don't remember seeing a slipper clutch, but they do mention a slipper clutch in here, which is kind of, I was like, oh, a slipper clutch. I don't remember. I saw that on like slipper clutch when it comes to, I'm thinking here, the uh, Mad Van, that one on the brushless one, it had a slipper clutch. I'm looking for it here to kind of see, but I remember I just saw it in here. So I'll put, a, you know, links down in the description below. You guys can find it, but I saw a sli slipper clutch in, oh, right here. So reliable uh, shaft driven four wheel drive drive train designed with a slipper clutch. I was like, uh, let me know. I don't know if it's a typo or I don't remember seeing a slipper clutch. I don't want to stay harping on this one, but I just don't remember it. So yeah, I didn't see one, uh, uh, at least on my Toyota Tundra to come. Yeah, the Tundra. So anyway. There it is for you guys. I definitely appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. There's all the links, in, you know, as far as requirements for this, as I had mentioned, all the specs, lengths, and all that good fun stuff for you guys so you guys can read up on all this. But I just want to kind of share this with you guys, let you guys know. Definitely support the channel. Head over to our website. Lots of RC goodness over here. And, uh, yeah, we pre-order one of these cars, and once we get them, we'll get them out and ship to you. So, uh, Again, thank you again for watching. You guys take care. Peace.